Hello, my name is Christian Robinson. Welcome to Making Space, the place where I invite you to join me in making something together. I am an author and illustrator of books for children, which basically means I get to make stuff all the time. Right now I'm sitting in my making space, which is my art studio, which is actually the garage behind my house. Um, I believe that creativity has the power to heal that everyone has that creative spark within them. And hopefully this video will encourage you to explore yours. Right now we're being asked to stay indoors and that can be challenging, but I figure if we can't go outside, let's go inside into our imaginations where anything is possible. So I invite you to make space for creativity, make space for fun, and let's make space together. Come on. Okay, so here's what we're going to make today. It's a rainbow! And yes, it's magically delicious. All you need to make this rainbow is a sturdy bottom, by which I mean like a heavier stock paper. I used a piece of cardboard that I found from an old box. Um, to keep it simple, I'm going to only use three colors to make this rainbow. I used paint. Um, but you don't have to use paint. You could use anything from crown, marker, colored pencil. Um, so I went with like a blue color, this like pinkish red, and a golden color to make my rainbow. Rainbows can be any color you want them to be. Why limit a rainbow's potential? Um, and so I want these projects to be something that anyone could make. Right now I'm even having trouble getting to the art store. So. I'm using a bunch of junk and trash and things that I found in my recycling bin uh, to make this rainbow. So this is actually a lot of fun because you get to go on a little scavenger hunt with your whole family. Uh, so I cut up some old boxes and I focused on the colors that I thought would go well inside the lines of my rainbow. Um, and then I organized those colors to make it easier for myself. And then I began to arrange them on the rainbow. And I used everything from a rubber band to onion skins to an old sponge and then I began to glue things down um and it was pretty fun and there it is today's art project was inspired by a book this book right here last stop on market street written by matt de la pena and illustrated by me if I could describe this book in one word, it would be gratitude. The story is about this boy named CJ and his grandmother who ride a bus in the city. And basically CJ is complaining a lot, but his grandmother is focusing his attention on things to be grateful for, the things that are beautiful, like a rainbow. I love rainbows. I think they represent gratitude, they also are reminders that even on the rainiest and cloudiest of days, there's always the sun right above those clouds. And eventually the clouds will part and the sun will come out and we might even see a rainbow. I think people are also like rainbows. People are wonderful. And I'm, there are so many people who I'm grateful for, like the people who work at grocery stores, who make sure that we have food, the people who are working in hospitals right now, our nurses and our doctors, and of course our teachers and educators who are making sure that young people are learning, even if it's online. Perhaps if you make this art piece, maybe you'll share it and write something about someone who you're grateful for, who's a rainbow in your life. Maybe it's a parent or a caretaker, it could be anyone. To express my gratitude, I would like to make sure that someone gets a free copy of this book. Uh, so basically, all you have to do is like this video, comment below, and basically I will make sure that you get a copy of this book. One person <laughs> will get a copy of this book. Um, and I'll do this by supporting our local and independent bookstores. So basically, maybe a bookstore in your town or from mine if I can't find one in yours. But yeah, just like and comment and one person will get a free copy of this video, uh, of this book. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Um, thank you all for making space to be creative, having fun and making space together. I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.